TV. My name is Howard Smith. Today I'll be giving a brief presentation of a range of products from our friends in Australia by the name of DCC Concepts. These are the point motor and point lever mechanisms. So I've got a brief test rig here that's been provided from our friends at Gage Master. Let's put it to the test. Right, so the first point of interest that we can note about this demonstration piece are the two lever mechanisms that we've been supplied with. Um, they are 40 millimetres in height, which means that in the grand scope of things they'll, they'll fit on most layouts as a point lever mechanism. Now I say point lever, it doesn't have to be a point lever mechanism. These are universal switches, they can be used for any type of point motor. They can also be applied to signals, um, anything that needs a switch effectively, whether that's um, a DCC powered lay uh, layout, DC or AC. So. They're very handy. So all in all, these levers have a multitude of, of applications on all types of layout and can be used not only for switching the points, but other accessories. Uh, moving on to the underside of this demonstration PC, you will see that we have fitted this three-way point with two motors, one for each point set. Um, now these are the cobalt motors that uh, DCC Concepts uh, produce. Um, they run on uh, 9 volt um, DC power um, and the setup that we've actually been provided here from Gage Master um, will demonstrate the full use of these point motors. So without further ado, let's put this system to the test and see what we can do. Right, now from the top you'll see that we have our two sets of point blades here. Now the first lever as you can probably imagine, we can control the first set, the second lever controlling the second set here. Now, the setup that we've been given here, you can see there are plenty of wires underneath, it's been wired in such a way so that if this first point is not set in the correct, face, in the correct direction, the second point will not activate because we're only taking one track. If we're taking this track, these two tracks are irre irrelevant, so we won't need to use this switch. And this will be demonstrated throughout this small demonstration with this LED light setup. If we take a look at this uh, cobalt motor, you'll notice that you're reversing the uh, mechanism through this pin here um, and applying the forces to your point. Um, you can fit this to any type of point, whether it's from Pico or Rocco, any type of, of um, track work. Right, so you can see that we're set to move up the top track here if we had a piece of rolling stock um, rolling through the points. Another nice interesting feature to point out about the levers themselves are this very prototypically fashioned um, mechanism whereby you have to pull this bit here to, in order to switch the lever across. Now if we flick the first lever, across go the LEDs. Now the LEDs are powered by this temporary battery pack that we have here. As you can hear from the point motors, they're not too loud. Certainly not as loud as some other competitors on the market. And if we now move across to our third track, that's moving the second switch, we've completed the full point cycle. So we're now set up for this track here. If I was to set myself up for the first track here, and try and flip the second switch, you'll note that nothing happens. This is thanks to the interlocking mechanism that links the two points together. If I now return the first point lever to its original position, you'll hear that both point motors themselves move. So to conclude, all in all, yes, um, definitely an interesting product. Glad to hear that there's more competition on the market. So don't forget to check out the Gage Master website where you'll find all the latest prices for these products. Uh, not forgetting that a pack of six of these switches will uh, give you a, a better price and uh, 12 even better. Um, and that concludes this video. Stay tuned for more episodes like this on MRL TV. And until next time, farewell.